All right. Uh, let's wait and see. Make sure everything's. Did I set the right stream key? Hang on a second. I hope this is correct. I may have made a horrible mistake. No, it looks like everything is okay. All right. Uh, well then. Welcome, Pinkie Pie, by the way. Nice and early. In fact, you're more on time than me. <laughs> I saw your message and I'm like, oh shit, I should probably go live. <laughs> on the dot, seven o'clock. Alright, but. Uh, da, da, da. Let me get some other stuff up while I get this ready. But yeah, as the name of the stream implies, last time we made it to Master Ball tier. Today, we're gonna try and win. <laughs> I mean, we're in Master Ball tier, but are we like really good? We're like in the rank seven. I don't even know what rank we are. Let's have a look and see. It's going to be low or high, I guess. Like, oh, we're in the five digits. 11,000. Ooh, that's, uh, hmm. Uh, Instant Cat. Oh, I would love to use your team, Instinct. Sure. And think about, ooh, you might become a member today. You might become one of the very uh, few Shenanigans. Also, what's up, Pan Malco, over on Twitch as well? Instinct, sure, sure, go ahead. Throw me a team. I would love to. Please, hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> Don't let it be a meme team. If it's a, if it's like six Pokemon all with Fissure, I will probably still use it, but I will be very mad. <laughs> uh, you'll become a cheaper. No worries. At least that way you get to use the uh, what is it called? The little emotes that I have. And your name gets to be green, and you get a little badge next to your name in the YouTube chat. Uh, yeah, let me actually go over the two teams that we used last time. Because I don't think I showed that off. And you still the ship? Yeah, that's what. Like, for me at least, I didn't want to do. I mean, there is a, a higher membership, but I'm like, I at the moment don't have like special like membership only streams because in my mind, I'm like, I don't really. I, I could, in theory, make member-only streams or member-only videos, but then in my mind, I'm like, if I'm going to put effort into making stuff, I want everyone to see it. You know? I don't want to pay all my stuff. So it's more for a, just a bonus on the side. But yeah, uh, just going over some of the other teams that we used before. This is our Glaceon team, which we used to get into Ultra Ball tier, and then to break into Master Ball tier, we used our Sun team. So it's a bit of both worlds here. But now, today, we're going to use something different, though. We're going to use Instinct's team, which is... Let's have a look and see. This. Please be good. I beg. It better be masterable tier worthy, Instinct. Uh, also, what's up, Mooncake? Three. Seven. Three. DK, Donkey Kong 3. Uh, let's see. Postulus to Monosus. Oh my gosh. Malka, did you- Were you spying on me? Literally, I had that, what, like, on Tuesday, I was busy making spaghetti bolognese, and I was like, oh shit, I ran out of, like, tomato and onion mix, or, like, tomato paste. I was like, okay, fine, just regular tomato sauce will do. I mean, it, it did do, but it wasn't ideal. <laughs> Probably ask your parents something. Uh, or you can. Ooh, okay. Uh, or it depends, yeah. No worries. But let's have a look and see. Oh, I'm liking this team already, Instinct. Sun team with Torkoal, Lilligant, Chlorophyll, of course, to go after you, Eruption. But there's also, uh, I love this. I love the, uh, sort of, what is it called? The mix up, right? I'm just chilling, eating lunch. Ooh, hopefully you're having a nice, lovely lunch, Mooncake. Yeah, I, I love the, the Torkoal, Lilligant. Like, it's, it's deadly in two ways. You could either go Sleep Powder and just cripple a team, or you could go after you eruption. Like, both are very uh, threatening. Uh, I heard there were special events announced in my region. Wait, what? Really? Wait, like special Pokemon events, Mooncake? I would love to hear about that. And then, of course, you have Ndidi Armor Rouge, and then you also have Ursa Luna. Is it Trick Room? Oh, there is Trick Room on Ndidi and Armor Rouge. Otherwise, you also have Reggie Drago. Like, this, I like teams like this where... So, in the past, I've used, like, single gimmick teams where there's, like, one thing only. But teams like this where there's multiple options of what you can throw out. I think this will do very, very well, Instinct. The question is... Oh wait, what was the team name? What was the team name? Bravado Sun. Oh, I mean, it, is, it is definitely a Sun team. <laughs> yeah, like there's so many different threats, right? But we are fairly low in the ranks at 11,000, so I'm, I'm hoping that this will do well. <laughs> We're gonna see a lot of weird teams, I think, though. This is this is that range where nobody's using like the super meta teams just yet. This is like the 
Oh, I'm gonna use my favorite Pokemon. Let me use my... Oh, I was gonna say, let me use my Absol, but unfortunately, Absol's not in the game. Let's see. Our first match. Malaro. Top four in the OCIC last year. Ooh. Oh my, and already we have a fellow Sun user. Torkoal with Wake, a Great Tusk, probably his Choice Scarf as well. Lilligan probably also has Sash, and Fluttermane probably Specs, right, with a Tornadus with Tailwind, so they can be very, very fast. Mm. Hmm. Here's the thing though, they set up Tailwind, right, so the only way we can compete against that is Lilligant in the Sun. But if he goes with his Lilligant in the Sun and then also Tailwind, that is going to be very difficult, right? So, what if we go Trick Room then instead? Indeedee Armor Rouge, Trick Room. Mm, I'm just worried about the uh, Torkoal and stuff like that, right? But yeah, Goggles Indeedee, uh, oh yeah, Goggles Indeedee, this is unfortunately a Rocky Helmet. Uh, in the back, I mean, if we're gonna go Trick Room, it's have Ursa Luna as well. I guess Torkoal, right? Let's just go full slow team. So what's up, Chaos Stars? And yeah, Great Tusk, aka Budget Landorus. <laughs> uh, you might have been confusing with Latin. Yeah, Latin America, I know, has uh, quite a few events. Africa will never get them, unfortunately. Like I was saying, um, when I was looking at the EU ICS stuff uh, and all that stuff. Porco Lilligant, okay. Either off, so <laughs> mirror, right? Either eruption off to you or sleep powder protect or something, right? Um, I'm assuming this Omer Rouge has flash fire, right? Yeah, okay. I, I mean, Torkoal could have earth power, but even then we should be okay. Uh, oh wait, does... Does this Omerush have Wide Guard? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Sleep Powder would be very annoying. Do I double Trick Room? No, if I double Trick Room and he doesn't use Sleep Powder, I'm gonna be very dumb and I just cancel my own. I'm gonna say if he does go for a Sleep Powder on Ndidi and Eruption, I can maybe go Trick Room. Do I have to Terrify? I think I'm gonna have to Terrify as well. Trick Room, Terrify, Expanding Force. Let's have a look and see. Uh, we're gonna show our Terra first, so he's not gonna do anything. I'm just worried about the Sleep Powder. After you would be better because yes, I take damage, but at least I have double Fire Terra, so I should in theory survive. Also, a Flash Fire. Uh, that makes me wonder then what he's gonna do here. Torkoal Protect, okay. Sleep Powder? On Indeedy? Sleep Powder on, on, I'm okay with this. I am actually okay with that. Oh, you went to EIC Mooncake? Oh my god, I am so jealous. Hopefully, uh, I assume, wait, for VGC, right, Mooncake? Or for uh, TCG? I, I didn't realize how many people go to TCG. Like, the TC, like, when I looked at the layout map of the EUIC and, like, the tables there, there were, like, double the amount of space for the TCG compared to the VGC, and I was like, oh my goodness! For the TCG, yeah, let's see, like I said, that makes sense. Uh, alright. Now then, here's the issue. I just set up Trick Room for his Torkoal. <laughs> All right, it's Dazzling Gleam, and honestly, I'll stay in and try and uh, expand in force. I want to get my uh, Ursaluna in on a free switch. Oh, little gun score. Walking Wake, boost your energy, life orb speed. Oh no, no, uh, boost energy, protosynthesis speed, and then. Uh, life orb, right? But speed boost is okay. Earth power onto the armor. I'm fine with that. 90-ish. That will get a KO if it does the same amount on the following turn. That means I will get a free switch into Ursa Luna. Dazzling Gleam does super effective damage to walking... Okay, well. It does super effective damage to walking weight, but it's not a lot of damage. Um, hmm. Here's the thing, though. Hydra Steam into anyone does a lot of damage. I think I have to, like, let them double KO me here, right? Can Ursaluna sweep at the end here with Earthquakes? Lilligant is a bit of an issue. Uh, yeah, let's go Dazzling Gleam again, plus another Heat Wave. Or Expanding Force, rather. And hello, Elaine! You're at school right now, so you can- Elaine! Don't! No! Stay- Focus on schoolwork! Don't- 
<laughs> Wait till after you get to school to watch the stream properly. But uh, hello, Aswan. Thank you for stopping by at least. Hopefully you're getting some knowledge up in class. You only get 1k more for winning in TCG. Oh. Okay, yeah. Omarish does go down to the earth power. Ooh, are you using Arcanine Snarl for your VGC, uh, for Regulation G team? For me, I cannot wait for Regulation G because that's when I'm going to use Terrapagos. The Terrapagos sweep. I cannot wait for it. I just assume, of course, gets a KO. The issue is... Yeah, well, now we get... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Ursa Luna plus... Poor call in. Hello, Malkalosh. Progress in the good. Yeah, I mean, it's good for the the one turn like best of one gimmicks. But you have so much better teams. <laughs> uh, smack talking between the brothers. Uh, okay, hang on. How many turns left of Trick Room? Two turns left. Two turns left of Sunlight as well. Okay. Uh, if I double protect this turn, Ursaluna gets the Flame Orb, right? But I mean, to be fair though, they're both fire types, so I think I don't need the guts boost yet. I think I can honestly just raw earthquake. I hope this. K I have to KO Walking Wake here though, because if I don't KO Walking Wake, he goes for or both of them even. He goes Earth Power Hydro Steam and then KOs Ursaluna, right? So let's go protect Earthquake. We have to hope that Ursaluna gets his KO. They're both fire types, so I mean maybe. Okay, all withdraw. I'm okay with this. Free chip damage onto you, Lilligant maybe. Yep, Lilligant. Text. Yep. 1040. Welcome, Blue Fox. You're watching it in your storm What is it? Guys, like, you guys should be focusing on your schoolwork. Don't watch me. What? Stay in school. Get smarter <laughs> instead. Uh, Ursulina Earthquake. Yeah. This probably deals with Spore Call, but I don't know about the Lilligant. Uh, Spore Uh, Okay. Here's the issue, though. Spore Call goes first with Heat Wave. And then that will get a KO, right? Also, there's one turn left of Trick Room. So we are in what I like to call a bit of a pickle. Unless, protect the Ursaluna. Heat Wave worth the Torkoal. Maybe. Welcome back, Pinky. We did five hours. Oh, damn. That's a lot of, that's a lot of work, Jens. It's more work than I did today at my actual job. Uh... Oh, and Mooncake, yeah. So, I assume when you say there's a Cape Town event, is that for VGC? Because I know there's definitely TCG stuff. Like, when I was looking up uh, after, you know, getting jealous that I couldn't go to EUIC, I was, like, curious. Have there ever been South African people that have made it to, like, regionals and stuff like that? And apparently, literally last year at Worlds, there were three South African TCG players. That's why over in my Discord, which you should all join by the way, discord.gg slash, I forget the name, let me link it here. But uh, I mentioned like, as a joke, do I, like, the only way I can go to Worlds or like a regional or something is if I start playing the TCG apparently. <laughs> That's the only way. Uh, but yeah, Trick Room expired, right? Yeah. That means Lilligan gets an easy sweep here. You two dead to actually think so showdown and homework are both out of the question. <laughs> yeah, just turn your brain off and watch me lose in Pokemon. Oh, that's great to hear, Pinky. Description mentions Dickless. Ah yeah, that's probably TCG. Like like I said, TCG is a lot bigger than I expected. Also, wait, hang on. He switched out his Oh, oh no, but Great Tusk has speed and then yeah, he'll easily sweep me now. Oh uh, yeah, the, the mine and plus old video from earlier today. Instinct. I was also so happy. I, I really wanted that opponent to do well, but then... <laughs> yeah, discharge spamming, not the greatest. But if you can come up with a better team, I would love to see that one. A Protosynthesis, attack. Ooh, and that's probably Choice Golf as well. Uh, hmm. Here's, I mean, technically speaking, uh, this is still winnable in a sense. Right? If I dodge out this Great Tusk attack, oh, but Torkoal probably goes for a uh, Heat Wave as well. But if I dodge that out and I go 
Eruption the Great Tusk. Or just Heat Wave, I guess. Yeah, like you said, the TCG Swipe. I, do, I, do I need to start playing the TCG? Is that what I have to do? Oh, Earthquake. Oh my goodness. Bye bye, both of our Torkoals. But then, yeah, worth the. What is it called? Trick Room out of the way. Walking Wake comes in. Boost your energy. Or not boost your energy. Proto Protosynthesis speed. That is going to do a lot of damage. Also, what's up, Asher? <laughs> Speaking of Asher, actually, you're reminding me of uh, Unicorn Overlord and stuff like that. I have. I have it in me that I am going to probably start playing another long form JRPG again soon. I'm on the fence of Triangle Strategy or Octopath Traveler 2. Both? Square Enix, both tactical RPGs, both very good. I don't know which one though. <laughs> so, did you see? Yeah, it's, just, it's that simple, Mooncake. Maybe if we still were using like decks from 20 years ago where we could play using like the Pokemon TCG on the Game Boy Color, maybe then I have a chance. I actually do have, I do actually have some decks from like 20 years ago. But that was when, like, the newest card would be, like, Rocket's Charizard or something like that. The Rocket's uh, Pokemon. Or, like, Misty's Jinx or Misty's Starmie or Sabrina's Kadabra. Like, that. that is the, the, the newest cards I have. You need a good reason to get, oh, get membership. Say that it is so you can get... You can use exclusive emotes in the chat and also you get your name to be green. And also you get a badge next to your name so you can stand out in the chat. Stand out from the rest. Try triangle first to see how you like it. Play the so here's the thing. I know of... Well, I mean, like, I, I have looked at both of them, right? I've played Octopath Traveler 1, and I have heard that 2 has improved on 1 by quite a bit, right? They uh, improved the story interweaving between them all. They improved the combat and stuff like that. They improved the overworld traversal. Um, da -da 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 -da. What is it? Triangle strategy? It's... I mean, it's it's a tact it's like a fire emblem, not really a fire emblem, but more fi uh, Final Fantasy tactic style game, right? How many people are members? I think there's about three or four members, but obviously they show up sporadically. Pinky, I kind of Seb who was here when we were watching the EUIC, he was showing up, and also actually, hang on, let me let me actually show you the emotes that you could use. You get access to all of these, and then obviously a green name and also the uh, what is it called the badge. But obviously no pressure though. This guy though has quite definitely a rain team. Yeah, it's absolutely a rain team, right? Pelipper, Amoongus, Urshifu, I imagine Water Strike, and an Archeladon for Electro Shot, right? Hmm. Here's the nice thing about Torkoal. Being slower than Pelipper means that I can set up the sun afterwards if we both lead. So let's go Torkoal plus... Uh, ooh. Spore wouldn't really work on the Amoongus. The Lilligant as well. well actually, yeah. If, hang on. Yeah, the, the Urshfu is also kind of scary. Uh, in the rain. Are we okay? Hang on, let's do this. Armor Rouge and Didi. Torkoal in the back. So I can set up Sun for Heatwave Armor Rouge. If we do go Trick Room, because there is also a pale, uh, Tailwind with Pelipper, right? Ursa Luna as well. So just go Slow Team again. Oh, and Blue Fox, you get the you get those by uh, joining the membership. You can help me out with the TCG. I mean, yeah, I know. I think like a couple of years back, I did try and download the the Play TCG like app on the PC, and I was like, it's okay, it's all right. Eh. Urshifu Landorus, Certain Strikes, and also. Lando. Hmm. Here's the thing. Yeah, Dragon Energy would have been pretty good here. <laughs> just outspeed and then just AoE damage, right? Hmm. Terra Psychic will help me out here because Surging Strikes is absolute. I can go Terra Psychic. Oh, I can go Terra Psychic Expanding Force. Uh, plus, follow me, right? Follow me. Ur uh, Urshifu takes some chip damage from Surging Strikes. I won't take anything too super effective unless he uses Sansia Storm, but even then I go uh, Terra Psychic, so I don't take as much damage. Yeah, this should be fine. 
Follow me, expanding force. Does he also terror? It doesn't look like it since he's not showing it yet. He might go. No, you wouldn't go detect, right? Have a look and see. Don't worry, Pinky. You don't need to be good at competitive because I'm not either. <laughs> Follow me from Indeedee goes first. Okay, so no protects. Urshifu, Rapid Strike. Or Surgeon Strike, yeah. Does about 40-ish damage, so that's gonna do, what, 120? I'll go down to about 60-ish HP. He takes Rocky Helmet Chip damage. So I might actually get a return KO now with the... Oh, I'm absolutely getting a return KO with Expanding Force. Landra's probably also redirects his attack into Indeedee. Life Orb Shield Force. So I probably also KO him, right? Blood Bomb. That gets a KO. Mm -hmm. Terra Psychic, Stab Boost, Expanding Force. Does it get the KO? Oh, yes it does. Yes, indeed it does. Are those crits? Oh, Pinky, you're asking why Urshfu got three crits in a row? It's because Game Freak or Nintendo decided, hey, what if we made a Pokemon that attacks three times in a row? The attack cannot be protected and it just gets a guaranteed crit every single time. Wouldn't that be balanced? And then nobody in the room decided to say, maybe we should stop. Maybe this is a bit too overpowered. Ah, uh, but let's see though. Now that we don't have Trick Room up though, it's gonna be kind of difficult. We can go Torkoal or Ursa Luna. Let's go Ursa, uh, let's go Torkoal actually. We can threaten with Heat Wave and also Expanding Force, but it's a matter of, okay, our Chaladon only has single target moves, so that's okay. Pelipper has... Also, no, Pelipper could have Wide Guard, actually. And also, he sets... Oh, wait, no. Drizzle, but I instantly cancel out. What a, what a read, actually. Electro Shot is no longer an option because I instantly cancel out with the Drought. Uh, I imagine he could go for Wide Guard, so I'll, I'll Heat Wave once. And I'll go for an Earth Power on the Archaladon, in case... Because in theory, I could go Heat Wave again, but... I want to make sure that I'm not screwed over by Wide Guard. Which Pelipper might have. Tailwind, Wide Guard, Protect, Hydro Pump. Oh, Tailwind first. Uh, that doesn't really matter. You're already faster than me with your Archaladon anyway, right? Snarl. Ooh! Lowering our special attack. A little bit of chip damage, but we both stay healthy. And I am going to get a Sun Boosted Heat Wave in here. Which does half to Pelipper, about 30-ish to Archaladon. And now I get a super effective Earth Power, which is gonna do probably the rest of your HP, actually. Uh, oh, never mind. Assault, it has to be Assault Vest or Chaladon, right? Hmm, all right. In that case. That is another Heat Whip KO Pelipper. It's, it's just over half, I think. So let's double Heat Wave, honestly. I'm just worried, if Pelipper hit, no, if Pelipper hits Hydro Pump, I, the sun will keep me safe, I think. Right? He does have a Terra, though. Oh my. Uh, Terra Fairy or Chaladon? In which case, I think we're still like... Terra Gross? With a heat wave in front of you? In the sun? I... Uh, uh, whoa, Weather Ball. Weather Ball with... Fla okay. Thanks for the Flash Fire boost. Dragon Pulse. Oh, I guess maybe Terra Grass to avoid the um, Earth Power, right? But I mean, now Heat Wave just does even more damage and also finishes off the Pelipper. I'll take it then. As always, just click the big damaging move turn one and it's an easy win. Simple as that. Why bother thinking? Just click the damaging moves. Also, Jens, that app you're talking about, with in-app purchases, is that for TCG or is that for uh, like Pokemon VGC? Because I have never heard of this before. And it's a yeah, sure. Maybe after this next match, we can do a 1v1. Oh, I can use whatever I want. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. I will take you up on that offer, absolutely. But I mean, yeah, like, it's... that That's the one issue of me getting into the TCG as well, like... It's not as easy to just make decks and stuff like that. Like, the constant rotations throughout a year where there's new sets coming out, so you have to buy the sets and all that stuff. Yeah. 
Oh, no, absolutely then, yeah. Let me know then in 30 minutes when you're ready. A battle against Gunther, though, with Pornatus Raging Bolts. Ooh, Arcanine Vesuvian form, as well as Rillaboom. If, uh, this would be a pure meta team if that was Incineroar instead of Arcanine. Uh... You know what? No thoughts, head empty. Let's go Regidrago. Dragon Pulse turn 1. Indeedee to set up the Psychic Field. Uh, so that we can't get faked out. Thunderclap as well. And... Let's see... Ooh, Pinkie Pie. Actually, yeah. Maybe instead Instinct, we can do a multi-battle instead of a 1v1. Once you're ready. Regidrago and Didi, and let's go Torkoal Lilligant in the back. Two other s possible speedy ones. The end. I'm going to buy a new game every- Yep, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I do not envy TCG players at all. Oh, also, I mentioned it earlier, but uh, speaking of all the TCG and stuff, when I was talking about the Discord server, let me post that link in the description. Or in the chat. Oh wow, the brothers. Landorus, Tornadus. I mean, Tailwind is a possibility, but I think we still outspeed with Scarf and uh, Regidraga, right? I'm absolutely gonna Terra because more damage, duh. Dragon Energy, no thoughts, head empty, helping hand. Tailwind plus Sans here, maybe? Tailwind plus Sludge Bomb. I think we should honestly. I, I'm I'm expecting a double KO here. I am fully expecting a double KO. Let's see. We are showing our terror first, but that's so that implies that we have the foster Pokemon. But I don't know if that will matter after Tailwind, right? Because if he also terrors now, that would also show that. Let's have a look and see. Okay, no terror from him. No protect either. Helping hand goes first. Tailwind? No tailwind either! <gasps> He's letting me just get a double KO possibly without even a return move from his side. And is he a sash? No sash! Easy one hit KO. I think this might be a two turn win. Depending on what comes in next, right? Rillaboom, maybe, and then they try and fake up, but I have Psychic Terrain. Let's see. Ula also, that's Urshifu, right? Urshifu, Rapid Strike, and Gortrom. This is... Rillaboom. Perfect. They cannot do anything. I'm still a Dragon-type. They have no... Oh, Grassy Surge does mean I can't get faked out, actually. Um... Uh... I can get faked out, but I can just go Dragon Energy plus follow me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he just cancelled the battle. <laughs> uh, technically speaking, we went on one turn. If you get second in a global challenge and 50 more CP, you're basically qualified for Worlds. Ooh. Here's the, the sad part though, Mooncake. Uh, even if you do qualify for Worlds, if you're from South Africa, they don't fly you out. <laughs> Although, I know, like, again, reading up the South African stuff, um, one of the tournaments, I think, in Cape Town, the one that you probably mentioned, like, apparently, the, the people that hold that tournament, they sponsor, like, they sponsored one of the winners there to go to Worlds. Uh, multi? I, I don't know if Instinct is ready yet. Instinct said, like, what, in 30 minutes, right? And that was about, like, five minutes ago. Guess we'll wait and see. Alright, can we break into the four digits, though? We're at 10,000. Can we watching? But I don't know if everybody has, uh... Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Like, I know Blue Fox doesn't. Also, I didn't say hello, but hello, Alpharax. I'm doing great. Hopefully you are too. Am I going to do Global Challenge? I don't know, maybe. Uh, I think it's in Regulation G, so I, I am excited for Regulation G, so I might actually give it a shot. 
Uh, damn, Daniel, back at it again with the classic Rillaboom Incineroar strats, right? So I'm absolutely gonna have Indeedee up front then. Psychic Terrain. Uh, let's also go. I mean... Uh, ooh, Regidrago is a bit sussy here because of the Flutter main, right? Terra, or not even Terra, just the Fairy type. Right, uh, so let's instead... Yeah, let's instead go... Armor Rouge, maybe? Uh, if that is a single strike Urshifu, they have two dark types, which is annoying. Can't expanding force. Uh, Torko Lilligan is also an option. Uh, you know what, let's go Armor Rouge. We can also Heat Wave if we can't use uh, expanding force. And call me crazy, I'm gonna go Torko Lilligan in the back. Qualify walls. I oh let's hope I then qualify incident. <laughs> Easy it's a lot easier said than done. Alright, let's see. Incineroar Gold Dango. Ooh. So I can't get faked out. I can get maked it rained on. Uh I can get knocked off. Let's see... How do we deal with this? Follow me maybe as an option. Actually no, follow me, they're gonna use the spread move, right? They're gonna just gonna use make it rain, so... What if I just helping hand? And then raw heat wave, but ah, uh, is... Terra water coming my way. Defensive terror water from Goldengo. I could, in theory, go for a Trick Room as well. His team is very fast. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna Trick Room. Uh oh. This is Terra Water! This is why I'm going for a. Oh, I, well, I say it's Terra Water. I don't know yet, but it is most likely a Dragon Terra? Damn. Dragon energy stamp could have been better here. Uh, who would have thought? But let's see though. Oh, I'm using Helping Hand for Trick Room. It's a super effective Trick Room now. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm going down anyway, I think. Ah, ooh, I do survive actually. Okay, no, it doesn't matter, yeah. Even if I did go for, what is it called? Well, actually, no, follow me would have been amazing there because Shadow Ball would have been dodged. Follow me would have been absolutely crucial. Alright, let's go Torkoal. We'll make a slideshow on why you need a member. <laughs> uh, it's no stress if you can't uh, member Pinky. Let's see. Well, then go. I wonder if that's choice to call them because it wasn't life orb. So let's follow me again. And then... Ooh. Earth power, I guess, Incineroar. Shadow Ball, yep, that. I think he is choice. I think he's choice into Shadow Ball, so... That should work very well. Knock off does a lot of damage. I can do that one more time unless I get a KO on Incineroar right here. No, but I will be able to go for one more. Follow me, I think. Man, yeah, if I did go follow me turn one, I would have had Trick Room go off. And then I would have had Expanding... Ah, expanding Force into Incineroar, not the greatest, but yeah. Ooh, Insta throw on the Incineroar. Ah, did, did you have a Flying type in the back? <laughs> Rillaboom. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, this also gets rid of Psychic Terrain, so now you can fake out. Ooh. Do you double switch, though, because you're locked into Shadow Ball, right? Unless he's not locked in, and he's going to do something else here. Make it oh, he wasn't locked in. Ooh, okay. 
Here's the thing though, I can now send in Lilligant. There's still a way for me to win, possibly. Uh, Rillaboom fakes out. If he fakes out my Lilligant, I can go Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost Sleep Powder. Oh, I can't Sleep Powder the Goldengo because of good as gold. I can close combat, I guess. Hmm. Terra Ghost, close combat, gold dango. And then heat wave for the Rillaboom. Yeah. Down to our final two. 2v4. Can we still pull it through? Let's have a look and see. Ghost? Fake out Rillaboom is almost absolutely on Lilligan because he sees this having chlorophyll. Never mind, it's on Torkoal. Oh, uh, this is bad. <laughs> Unless I crit close combat the gold dango. Ooh. That lowers my defenses. So now I think a make it rain will get a KO. I don't know, Shadow Oh wow, what a read. Shadow Ball. I mean I have Sash, but still. Hmm. And my special defense falls. Uh, I wonder. There's no way. Out of curiosity, I think I'm going to try this out. I doubt it'll work. Torkoal's at, like, what? 114? Off to you. I think Eruption still does, yeah. Good damage here. I don't know if it cares Rillaboom because it probably has... Assault Fest? Oh, he's protecting. Grossy Glide. Priority, yep. But now that he has Gross Terrain, Grossy Glide becomes a priority move. Out of curiosity, does Ruffin get a KO though? Maybe? Oh, that was actually a lot of damage. But yeah, I won't. It's game over. Keep saying Infant Expire. Ooh. Maybe that is an old invite. Let me. Uh. Da -da -da. Manually make a new one then. This should work now. That one should work, instinct. Alright, but we go again though. Can, hopefully we can make it to at least four digits. <laughs> It'd be weird if the only time we can make it into four digits is because, uh, what is it called? Uh, that's where we placed initially. Orphaning should not be called running. What happened to you? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is, that is interesting, yeah. Also, what is this team? Senbe has an Urshifu, a Galarian Moltres, a Tornadus, a Waterpun, a Comfe, and a Rhyperior. I hope you are all as confused as I am. But... Potentially FOSS team, so when in doubt, whoop it out. Ready Drago, indeedy. Mm hmm. In the back. Ursa Luna, I guess. And. How do we deal with that? What else can we use to round this out? Elegant, maybe? Yeah, Lilligant. Well, we won't, we won't have the sun for chloroform, but I mean, it's still a Lilligant. It's still a sleep powder. It's still as uh, off. To, it's still as off to you for the Ursa Luna, at least. Like that's still a possibility, right? It's not super fast, but it can at least help jumpstart that Urs, uh, Ursa Luna. All 
All right, let's see. Senba sends in. Moltres, and that is a single strike Urshifu. Very noticeably enough. All right. Uh, would that have Sash? I doubt, right? Kumpei's going to do some flower select. <laughs> I was going to say, the Kumpei is going to be annoying and like latch onto the other Pokemon, a la Unite joke. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, whoop it out. Drag dra Dragon Energy plus... And... We should be Foster. We have Psychic Terrain. So, there's no threat of like a Sucker Punch or anything. Moltres probably goes Fiery Wrath. It's probably Fiery Wrath Wicked Blow, right? But in that case, I don't take too much damage here. Like, maybe my Ndidi goes down, but that's okay. Reggie Drago should stay safe. Uh, I like also that the helm the, the hat goes on the arm, because that's where, like, the, the head of the dragon is, as opposed to on the, the round ball part. Dragon energy? Let's see. Does this get a KO? Sash? Ooh! Okay, wait a minute. Hang on. Sash, Urshifu, and the Moltres just stays alive. This is dangerous because Berserk gets activated now. Citrus Berry as well, maybe? Citrus Berry as well. Uh, a Fiery Wrath plus Wicked Blow. This might KO our Reggie Drago. That's a lot of damage. That's spot. Okay, he's setting up. Perfect. He made the mistake of trying to set up. If he doubled, that would have been a dead uh, Reggie Drago. We dragon, in theory, I could follow me, but I'm gonna dragon energy because of a potential switch out. A helping hand as well. We should, we saw we go first. He cannot sucker punch me. He cannot do anything to attack me. So yeah, he's gonna lose both of these Pokemon here and now. Or he protects, but I mean, that won't matter. I can just KO that on the following turn. Dragon energy will absolutely nuke this one HP Urshifu. Then he'll send in, hopefully... Wait. Isn't Kumpei a fairy type? Grass fairy, right? Oh, no. We might have a bit of a pickle on our hands here. Uh, Kiwawa, this is Kumpei. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I have earth power, but I mean... I'm... Yeah, I'm choiced into Dragon Energy, right? So let me just do this to get rid of the Moltres. And, uh, I mean, Moltres is guaranteed to go down here. Let's follow me, because maybe he's using Moonblast, single target. Indeed, he can tank that then. And I don't need the Helping Hand. That's weird. I feel like Comfy should be a Grass, Grass Fairy. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally a... Uh, look at it. So, it's a... Reef. Uh, oh my, the Moltres survived. And it's setting up the Calm Mind. Oh. No. Fiery Wrath? Yeah. Oh my. Hey, remember when I said I don't need to helping hand? And remember when I said that in, uh, the Kampei is going to attack? Yeah. Oops. Alright, Lilligant in, and Ursa Luna. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we absolutely have to protect with Ursa Luna to get the Flame Orb proc. Lilligant ten can tank out one hit here. He has one Pokemon in the back left, he still does have a Terra as well. I'm pretty sure it will be Foster. Then the Moltres, right? So, let's see. I have to close combat, right? I can't afford a uh, solar blade. Let's close combat and protect. Floral healing. <gasps> How much does this heal? How much? Oh, that's a lot. Uh, maybe close combat still gets a KO though. Oh no, it does not. And now our defense falls. Oh no, oh no. Also, is Kampei faster than us? 
Oh, and it gives another stack of Berserk. Oh my. And then Fiery Wrath as well. Oh no. Uh, hmm. I have an idea though. I think he's scared and he does that again. He uses Floral Healing a second time. I can sleep the Moltres, right? Sleep out a Moltres. And then facade the uh, Kiwawa. So what's up, Star? Oh, Pinky, I don't know. Oh, do we have four people for a multi-battle? There's myself, there's Pinky. Uh, I think Star also might be available. I don't know if Instinct is also available too. Let's try this out there. I think this is the correct play. But now that Lilligant is low, he might just think, oh, I can just maybe go for a KO, right? Terra as well. Terra Moltres? Yep, Terra Moltres, Terra Poison, Terra Poison. Uh, I mean, you're still going to be vulnerable to a sleep powder. It's just a question of... One, do I put you to sleep? Two, yeah, floral healing. Wait, you used that on me? And we get the sleep powder, okay. Uh, also, wait, wait, wait you, you were targeting me with the floral healing? Damn, was, was that BMing me? Is he trying to give me a, uh, a heal? But yeah, Guts Booster Facade. Gets a KO on the uh, Kampei. Like, oh, honestly, the Kiwawa is a better name. But yeah, the that Poison Terra. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was the wrong play. Weirdness disappeared from Battlefield as well now, so that Floral Healing no longer matters. Ogapon comes in. Ooh. Uh, honestly? Hmm. Who's Foster? Moltres surely stays asleep this turn, right? There's no way you wake up. Oh, it's plus four. Um, I'll be faster than the Ogapon. I can go after you, Ursa Luna. And let it move first, ideally. Earthquake would not get a KO. I think I have to facade. And then hope that Moltres stays asleep. I'll see you later, Pinky. Oh, it's like shield. Hopefully you'll come back with uh, <laughs> your parents allowing you to be a member. Come on, Shenene. He wakes up. It's over. Oh, but he protects. You fool! Okay, wait. This is still okay. I think. Uh, oh, this is okay. This is okay. This is okay. We just have to figure out what he's going to do here. He can't protect with either of his Pokemon, but now he has Fiery Wrath, plus also he has... Um, Ivy Cudgel Water Type into Ursaluna. We are faster than Moltres, but not faster than Ogapon. Here's what I think we do. We sleep out of the Moltres again. Put it to sleep. I think he's gonna go Fiery Wrath plus Ivy Cudgel Ursaluna. I protect the Ivy Cudgel, and I sleep before he goes Fiery Wrath. This is the only way. Because we're too slow. We can't get a double KO here. Ursaluna protects. Follow me. Oh, follow me. For the sleep powder, yeah. Since it's not rage powder, Lilligant is still affected. Ooh, what a smart play. Man, I could have gone uh, off to you, off to you, uh, Earthquake. But now Earthquake would not have gotten a KO. Uh, thanks for sticking on the blue. Four shenanigans, this is tried out. Would this have worked? Ivy Cuddle gets a KO though. Absolutely, right? Hmm? Thinking about it. Yeah, Ivy Cuddle. And that's a KO. It is, it is indeed Shiny Galarian Moltres. It's weird. It, nobody uses, like, regular Galarian Moltres. They always make it shiny. If... 
Yeah, if the Moltres slept for a bit longer. But I mean, that's what, that's what you get for relying on it, right? <laughs> it is a tough one indeed. Can it just become... What is it? Uh, April... May already, so I can use Terrapagos in Regulation G. Then just Stellar Starstorm sweep everyone. That's all I ask. Great for the multi. Uh, I think, unfortunately though, Pinky had to go, and then... Uh, what is it called? Star said that they can only do it in what? A little bit later. Ooh, Chris, hello. Oh my, hello everybody from the, the future. Iron Bundle, Metagross, Iron Chug Jugulus, uh, Iron Wing, right? That's the name? Iron Valiant and Iron Verizion, or whatever it's called. Iron Leaves. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's go talk a little elegant. Also, if we have a fourth, then yeah, we can do the multi after this then. Uh, also, what's up, Dynamo? I'm just worried about that iron bundle being. S I mean, we can outspeed it maybe with Lilligant Chlorophyll, right? Uh, in the back, let's go Wakey Dwago, as well as Armor Rouge, maybe? Yeah, let's go Armor Rouge. Take advantage of that sun. I'm very curious about this team, though. Does he have a way to trigger all of their stuff? Like an electric terrain? From who? inspired me to make my proper picture that the uh on youtube oh that's just the bongo cat avatar because <laughs> that's what i used when i first started streaming all right iron bundle iron moth of course both shiny uh, 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 uh. protosynthesis on the bundle speed right yeah uh are we faster now actually i don't know Are we faster than... Let's protect... I mean, we have Chlorophyll. Let's try it out. Let's go Chlorophyll. Sleep Powder, the bundle. Ah, uh, oh, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb from this thing. I think we have to go Terra Ghost, right? Terra Ghost, Sleep Powder, bundle. On the following turn, we can try and go Sleep Powder... Iron Wing, and then Earth Power that. It's Fire Poison, so that'll do a lot of damage. We just need to make sure we survive this turn. Let's see. Prote oh, Protect! Oh, Protect for Sludge Bomb. Yeah, Protect Sludge Bomb. I mean, I have Sash, but... Yeah. The Powder gets bounced. Oh, me, Sludge Bomb. Oh, it's Heat Wave! Oh, Heat Wave in the sun. Yeah, that also makes sense. Well, Lilligant. Sash? Yeah, Sash. Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, now we kind of have to go for an attacking move here. Yeah, we have to go Earth Power plus Sleep Powder again, I guess. We should move before Iron Bundle, right? Even though it had booster speed. We have Chlorophyll. And we're also- Oh no, but Iron Bundle by default is like one of the fastest Pokemon there is, so I don't know if we even outspeed here. Heatwave plus like a Hydro- I don't know, Hydro Pump maybe wouldn't get a KO, we're in the sun. Oh, we are faster! Okay, Sleep Powder goes off. Heatwave will take out our Lilligan, but Torkoal will stay healthy, and then Earth Power should ideally finish off the uh, Iron Wing. Yep, there's Heatwave. That is a significant damage to Torkoal, actually. Hang on a second.
but Earth Power being quite effective does get a return KO. I wonder if that was Choice Specs. That did a lot of damage. Hmm. Alright, but now we go. Uh, Armor Rouge maybe for the sun? I could have switched in. Oh, I could have switched in Armor Rouge for. No, no, yeah. Uh, for Flash Fire, but. Let's go Reggie Drago. No finish or after. Yeah. <laughs> BGC is not a thriving thing in South Africa, apparently. Peru Quello, Iron Jugulus, Dark Flying. Uh, does this have anything dangerous? I don't think it gets Draco, right? That, that's only regular Hydreigon. So, let's go Heat Wave. Plus Dragon Energy. Yeah, just raw Dragon Energy, why not? I don't think we'll get a 1-8 KO. We should move first, though, with Dragon Energy, but... We can weaken them. Ideally, that is not a wake-up, because it probably uses Freeze-Dry on... Oh, never mind, he withdraws, so I get a free hit on whatever comes in. Unless it's Iron Valiant, or a Paladin, it is Iron Valiant. I'm not doing any damage here. You'd love to see it. Uh, Dragon Energy does not affect... Maybe at least gets a KO on Jugulus. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, but it's not a KO, though! Uh, Earth Power will finish off the Torkoal. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So he has Iron Bundle in the back. I think we can still win this. Assuming that's not uh, like uh, something crazy, like Final Gambit, Iron Valiant. I can protect because I think he's gonna go. Oh, here is the issue. Jugulus is probably faster than me, isn't he? No, but I'm faster than the jug. Oh, okay, no, yeah, this is okay. I can expanding force, and then dragon energy. I'll take out the Jugulus, but it's gonna be down to Arm Rouge to deal with the Iron Paladin or the Iron Valiant worth. Please just be Terra on your Valiant. So you lose your Fairy Typing? Okay, no, it's not. Don't be Fairy Typing as well. Okay, ground. Uh, Dragon Energy still gets a KO here, right? Oh, they could have Wide Guard as well. Oh, it is Wide Guard. Ah, Wide Guard. Does it have Earthquake? Wide Guard Earthquake? No way, right? Well, if it doesn't get a KO on Armor Rouge, maybe it's still a possibility? Because Bundle is a sleep. Oh, it's Earth Power. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, we saw it use Earth Power earlier. Bye bye, Armor Rouge. Hmm. We are twisted into Dragon Energy, by the way. This does not bode well for us. <laughs> Alright. Time to run. Or forfeit, as uh, Jens would say. Yeah, it's more cancelling the battle as opposed to running. Where are we gonna run to? But uh, let's see though. Of oh, the red circle always makes it look like I'm not. <laughs> uh. I just like it because it, it gives a proper outline to just like a solid white image otherwise. But I, I imagine, yeah, maybe I'll make it green or something so <laughs> it doesn't uh, clash. A battle against Michael. Michael, it's your birthday today. Wow. Okay. Hello. Fisherman Michael with a tentacruel. Barrascuta. Is that the one that has um swift swim, right? Or it has the thing where it like it halves its HP but like increases all of its stats. Pelipper as well. Oh no, it is yeah swift swim. Uh, Gyarados. Oh my goodness. 
I don't know what's happening. I'm scared, but also excited. Let's go talk all elegant. Ideally, he leads with his Pelipper, then I cancel out his... Oh, actually, hmm. Uh, Sneasel might be... Weavile, actually, might be up in front. Fake Art? In which case, indeed, the Armor Rouge might be better. The only issue is that... Wait, with Armor Rouge, water types would be devastating. So let's go Reggie Drago instead. Pork all elegant in the back. The Broxish, that's the one at the bottom, yeah. Uh, huh. I don't know what they're gonna do. So yeah, let's just go Dragon Energy off rip. I'm assuming they don't lead with Pelipper. Maybe they, uh, I don't know. Maybe they go Sneasel plus um, Pelipper fake out Tailwind. In which case... I still set up Psychic Terrain. I'd have to insta-switch in the Torkoal for... Oh, wow. What did I say? Weavile, uh, not Sneasel. Huh. Well, I mean, I get the Psychic Terrain up at least. So... I can't get faked out. Weavile, though. Weavile, Weavile, Weavile. I mean, I should be Foster, but it probably has a Sash, right? I'm tempted to Dazzling. Just because I think Weavile has Sash. But at the same time, I also want to switch into Torkoal to cancel out the rain. Also, yeah, does he realize I just go Dragon Energy and does he White Guard? <laughs> That'd be very devastating case. With Torkoal. Uh, plus... Honestly... I'm thinking he goes for something like a wide god. I'm a Draco this. I feel like he maybe reads this. I'm gonna read the read. If, if it's not, I still might get a KO with Draco anyway. See, cancel out the rain, set up some Tailwind. Woo! Draco coming your way. What a read. And it's a one-hit KO. That's what you love to see. Now, no more Wide Gods. I can now go for Eruptions or Heat Waves with my Torkoal. And... Knock off. I'm okay with that. Torkoal gets knocked off, but I mean, we do still have... Uh, what is it called? Heat Wave? Ooh, yeah. Teamless. <laughs> You'd have to have like five minutes in the team selection then. Tentacruel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We're in trouble with our Torkoal here. I kind of want to switch Reggie Drago out to reset his uh, special attack. But at the same time... What if I just go for it again, right? Also... Uh, yeah, reset his move as well, so he's not locked into Draco. So let's protect the Torkoal. And go into Indeedee. I don't want to go into Lilligan because I'm worried about this. Uh, yeah, like Tentacle might have an ice move. Also, yeah, what did we read, Dynamo? I completely forgot about Wide God until you mentioned it. Torkoal protects. What do you use? Ice, spin ice Spinner into the Reggie Drago slot. That makes sense. Do you double into it? Weavile also breaks a possible Sash. Oh, also it gets rid of the weirdness. Whirlpool the Torkoal. Okay. Mmm. He has knockoff. I could Earth Power the Tentacruel. Or Heatway for the Weavile. Um. <laughs> Three turns of sunlight left. Who is more of a threat, Weavile or Tentacruel? I'm gonna we Heatwave because I don't want Weavile to tap Ice Burner as a threat to Reggie Drago. And let me follow me as well. I don't think he has a spread move that can KO both of us, right? Sludge Rave maybe, Tentacruel, but we'll be okay. Follow me. Knock off Weavile. That might honestly get a KO, so maybe he still gets a redirected Whirlpool. Yep, knock off. That's what I was worried about. Uh, mm. On the bright side, we will get, if he does Whirlpool and KO Torkoal, I will get... Reggie Drago, 
plus Lilligant. They'll be very fast in the sun. Sludge Bomb. That keeps us alive, actually. Yeah. If the poison KOs us, that'd be perfect, honestly. Uh, let's see. Heatwave. That should KO the Weavile. Yes, it does. Not very effective on Tentacruel. I... Mmm. Solar Blade Tentacruel. That's a guaranteed KO. What is the final Pokemon in the back? Uh, Black Sludge Tentacruel to heal. Oh, it's Leftovers. Poison, please KO Torkoal, honestly. The, the 20 damage, okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm gonna go Lilligant because I don't wanna lock myself in before seeing what they have. Yaridos. You could get Terra Flying here. I have Sash though. Intimidate. I mean, Earth Power, Tentacruel. And Sleep Powder. What do we want to Sleep Powder? Gyarados or Tentacruel? Let's Sleep Powder Gyarados because it might have Ice Fang. And also, yeah, I realized then as well because of the poison typing, Solar Blade is neutral, so I'm like, ugh, maybe let me sleep instead. <laughs> Protect- Oh! Unless you're double protecting, this is great for me. Because I should sleep the Gyarados then. Yes! Hehehehehe. <laughs> Pokal goes down now as well, so I get to bring in the Reggie Drago. I can sleep out a tentacle on the following turn, and I can go for Dragon Energy. This, as long as he, yeah, he won't wake up next turn, so I should be able to take out... And also with Choice Cough, so we should be moving first with our Reggie Drago, so we can go double Dragon Energy and take out uh, after two turns, right? Let's go Reggie Drago. All of this came off of that read on the Pelipper, though, by the way. <laughs> if it weren't for that, whew, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, let's go Terra Dragon. Like, in theory, Gyarados could have Ice uh, Ice Fang if he wakes up. Tentacruel also could have an Ice move, possibly, but I, there's no way he wakes up and, and we, we have a lot of HP. We should be fine, right? Right? Let's see the Tentacruel as well. Surely nothing bad could happen to us when we're one turn away from, or two turns away from victory, right? Also, speaking of just, like, Pokemon in general, uh, my new... Guilty pleasure is stalking, not really stalking, keeping an eye out for the Twitch channel, or oh, the Pokemon Twitch channel, because like last night, I stayed up till two o'clock in the morning watching, uh oh, watching uh, Pokemon Advance. They had like four or five episodes where uh, Ash goes to Battle Rock Sands Gym. I can't sleep it anymore. Uh oh. Well, hang on. This might still be okay. We still outspeed it, so uh, it'll, if it's a two-hit KO, we'll be okay. All right? Oh, we just need to make sure we have one more attack to go off here. Okay, it's not from into Lilligan. That's fine. We have Sash anyway, and Gyarados stays asleep. Right? Right? A oh, poison. Ah, wow. That's a very lucky poison, but it shouldn't matter because we will move first next turn, right? Gyarados stays asleep. Yeah. Woo. That could have been very scary. Also, wait, is that sun expiring as well? So yeah, Lilligan becomes not really that great anymore. Probably still would have been at least faster than Tentacruel, but yeah. You did good, Lilligan. You at least shut down the uh, Gyarados. Right. Now we Dragon Energy again. The whoop. There we go. Yeah, like the what is it called? I forgot how great the like the older anime series was. Yeah, thankfully that poison didn't matter though, Mooncake. <laughs> Michael, it's your birthday today. Celebrate another birthday bash.
What we could do actually as well is um, we can also set up multi battles in the Discord as well whenever. Give me the contest. Yeah, ah, uh, like it brought a smile to my face seeing May like experience the contest. Like, oh wow, I want to become a contest player. Like, oh, that's where it all started. That's where May became like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And then also <laughs> Brock like hitting on Roxanne and all the girls is always a classic. Uh, Max being a nerd. Who else was there? Oh, it, it also had the episode of uh, Mr. Briny and the little Pico. The cute little uh, Wingull, which is really cute. Also, the, the faces that Pikachu makes. I forgot how cute it was. Mr. Nintendo. Ooh. She Powered Dragonite, so E-Speed shenanigans. Uh, Urshifu, Rillaboom. I'm seeing a lot of priority, so I'm absolutely going in DD. Uh, Farigaraf, as well as a Heatran. Maybe Reggie Drago as well? The issue with Reggie Drago is that uh, Ice Spinner. I mean, we, we would outspeed, but yeah. Maybe it's worth it, though. Go Arm Rouge instead. But then I run the risk of Flash Fire. Ah, let's go, Reggie Drago. Little Lick and Talk all in the back. Uh, mmm. Call me crazy. The elegant Ursa Luna in the back. I won't be able to get Chlorophyll off, but maybe that can be of use to us. Setting up Sun would be kinda eh for the. Yeah, yeah, I think. Let's go for that. I wanna see if I can maybe after you the Ursa Luna to give it the speed it needs to outspeed something instead of having to rely on like uh, a trick room. Yeah, he, oh, you've seen Heatran in Regulation G. Making a comeback, I guess. Yeah, but in F, it was non-existent. Dragonite Chien Pao. Nah, <laughs> Lamal. Psychic Terrain. No E speed for you. But again, Icicle Crash is an issue from this Chien Pao. Mm. Also, multi-scale. Also, uh, Sash. So I will... I could follow me, the ice spinner. Let's follow. Let's follow me, and dragon energy. Yeah, let's do that. Because it could ice skill crash plus outrage or something. There could be two super effective moves coming my way. So I think this is better for keeping it alive. Uh, dragon energy. Oh my, that is not a multi-scale, that is probably uh, Inner Focus, which is a KO. And yeah, 1 HP on Chien Pao. But, like, in theory, Dazzling Gleam would have gotten a KO, but I think Ice Spinner here, I would have preferred... Oh, Ice Skull Crash, yeah. I think it's better just keeping it at full HP, because it's just better, right? Because we know we outspeed, so... Uh, we can just go for that again now. Oh, but now he has Fake Out. Now he has take out another grassy train is up. So what's up, watermelon cat? Oh, a fellow cat. <laughs> uh hmm. Man. Uh, let's just go follow me again, right? Follow me. Which? If I follow me. Wait, what is the part in uh, follow me again? Take out set plus three, right? Can I follow me a fake out? No, because follow me is a two, I think, or plus one. That's a two. Uh, fuck it. It's dragon energy again. I think we, he ice cream crashes me though. Yeah, fake out on Indeedy. Probably would have been good to switch here, but let's see. Sucker punch, really? Not ice cold. I mean, probably because yeah, probably because he knows he can't outspeed me. Right, 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 right. So he at least gets guaranteed sucker punch damage. But honestly, this is great then because we keep both alive. I can now now I can go helping hand dragon energy. Right. Heatran comes in. Ah. Uh, 
I mean, no matter what Terra you have, unless it's Terra Fairy, which it might actually be, uh, we're okay here. Helping Hand. I don't think we care with the Heat Ran, but we will do a lot of damage that we can clean it up with the following Pokemon, right? Yep, it's Terra on the Heat Ran. There's no way it's Terra. I mean, okay, well, we were locked in, it doesn't matter, but like, still. Huh. Mm, how do we, uh, we, we sleep harder it on the following turn, and then we uh, just facade. Yeah, we're okay. Why is Dragon Energy just an origin pulse reskin? Yeah, they, <laughs> remember when each move had its own special animation? I remember. Rigid Dragon survives. That's actually kind of annoying because, like, what do, what do I do? <laughs> Unironically, I would have preferred him taking out my Reggie Dragon there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't want to let him just get a free hit in, so let me just drag an energy here. If he was smart, he would honestly maybe maybe if he does realize I'm choiced, just start attacking into the. Indeedy, but he's not, so I get a double switch in here for free. Which brings in a very fast Lilligant with Sleep Powder and an Ursaluna who has a Gut uh, Flame Mob with Guts. Left, left, right. Yeah, like the Sword and Shield, like Sword and Strikes had such a cool animation. Or just like, yeah, we can big blow and certain strikes. And then now it's just like, uh, do a little hop up and do a spin move. Sleep powder, protect. Following turn, we can sword. Like, even the, uh. Even the special signature moves in this own, in its own generation don't look that good. Like, the Maridon and Karidon attacks, the Ivy Cudgel attack, yeah. I will say, like, people talk a lot of smack about Sword and Shield's visuals and stuff like that in the overworld. The cinematic moves that they had, like, the battles in the stadium were, were by far the best looking things ever. Like, in an actual stadium which, where it makes sense. So all the VGC rank battles were, like, really cool. The cheering in the, the Dynamax made sense because you had a crowd. It was really nice. Unfortunately, we will never get that again. <laughs> I mean, what can we do here? I guess Solar Blade, we're just forced to take an extra turn. And Facade. Oh, okay, battle cancelled. Yep, Gen 10 can give credit. Yeah, I hope so. Austin Sword and Shield Earth was bad. Wait, really? Is it oh is it because of Dynamax that it was balanced then or something? I never played Sword and Shield, so I'm not really too familiar with the, the meta back then. Please do do tell Mooncake. Is it oh, maybe because of the other Pokemon that are available, right? Like maybe Max God can still guard a uh, surging strikes and stuff like that. Misha, oh, Stone Ogre Pond, hello. Sturdy Pond, that's a rarity. Iron Valiant Empoleon, a Chiyu, an Indeedee, and a Lando. Hmm. Uh, that's, they've got pretty, f not actually, not, they actually don't have that many Foss Pokemon. There's really only Chiyu, right? So, that is likely a Chiyu with a Sash? I mean, again, what is stopping me from just going... Oh, wait, no, I know what's stopping me from going Dragon Energy. The Iron Valiant. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try out something else. Let's try and get Ursaluna in here. 
Let's try and go for Trick Room. And then Ursa Luna. Ah, they're looking as well. Yeah, Wide Guard, like, Iron Valiant just, like, threw everything for loop. Wide Guard, also Fairy type, I'm like, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, Wolfie, uh, was it the, like, the video about how Urshfu, like, broke the game or whatever? Oh, wow, Lacey, Lacey pit profile picture, this guy's a chat, he knows what's up. Chiyu and Empoleon. Uh, we're kind of... I'll be safe here. Hmm. Chiyu is definitely faster than us. Air balloon. Interesting. Let's go follow me trick room, I guess. Air balloon actually does scream me over because I wanted an earthquake, but okay. Also, what's up, gamer? Following me for, I assume, Dark Pulse? Yeah. That is a one hit KO. Wow, we. Okay, Life Orb? No. Roar? Huh? Okay. Uh, mm, actually, if this is Ursuluna, I get an instant. Mm, I get an instant Guts Orb proc. Okay, but Roar? That actually screws me over because I was going to go for a Trick Room there. Okay, Lilligant. Ooh, Gamer. A battle with me. I think, do we have enough for a four-way multi-battle? We have Gamer, we have Star. Uh... It's instinct still here, and a pinky left already. It could go for a multi. All right. Well, uh, mm, now I'm confused. What if you? I feel like I have to go after you now, right? She, you goes first. Probably gets. Ah, uh, um, mm hmm. Call me crazy. Sleep powder. Raw Earthquake, call me crazy. That's a lot of damage to Ursaluna. If he roars me again, I'm gonna be. If he roars my Ursaluna out of this Earthquake and it burns my Lilligant, of course you burn a Lilligant. Uh, Sleep Powder misses, because of course it does. Hydro Pump it hits as well. This is just a comedy of errors. After you probably would have been better there. I'm just amazed at that roar. Oh yeah, probably is choice specs. Oh no, no, not choice specs. Oh, it's not choice specs because we saw it used. Up. It it has to be sash, right? That has to be chess. Uh, sash to you. Since it didn't have uh, life orb, and it's not choice. Yeah. Honestly, if anything, if anything, the Empoleon swept by, by roaring out my trick room because otherwise, Earth Luna would have come in and didn't just like earthquake through everything. I think I'll go for one more win with this team though, and then uh, I'll switch over to another team that I had. We do need one other person though, that's the only issue. Star is ready, gamer is ready, we just need one more. <laughs> A battle against. Yay! Yippee! Yay! Oh, oh, this is not a this is not a very yay team. Amoongus. Willaboom. Actually, hmm. 
Moongus Rillaboom. Butter, Tornadus, uh, Sterilage, Flash Fire. Okay, never mind. This is a not this is not a yay team. Uh bu bu If they don't have Flutter main. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna make a prediction here. I think they don't need Flutter main. So I can go Reggie Drago here. I'll have Who's in the back? And Ursaluna as well. I uh Sarah Lage is just the only annoying thing. I was gonna say, oh, this is perfect for a fire team. But then you have Sarah Lage, right? With the uh, flash fire. But yeah, this is we're in the nice zone of Master Ball. Like Master Ball, but very like low ranking, so. You're not like you're in high like ranking like you're in a moss tier, here but you're not like facing the me same meta teams over and over. Oh, it's Serialage up front. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like this one bit. Also, booster energy speed. Yeah. I mean. Let's go Trick Room and switch into the Armor Rouge. I see your Sarah Lich, I raise your Armor Rouge, but uh, yeah, he goes for Moonblast probably. Moonblast plus Shadow Sneak? No, Bitter Blade? No, yeah, he would be using Shadow Sneak. Bitter Blade maybe? Swords Dance even? A Substitute? Oh my. Swords Dance as well. Good to play. Ah. Doing DD. 80 ish damage, that's okay. Alright. Uh, follow me. Follow me will probably keep us safe. Means you can't double into Armor Rouge and then I expanding force. Do I Terra Psychic? Expanding force. If I go Terra Psychic, he doesn't have anything. Super effective against me anymore. But the only issue is that he. Uh, Plutter goes first. I think we're okay. Honestly, I think we're okay to do this. Because Plutter goes first, it won't KO the Indeedee. So that means that Sarah Lage also can't do too much damage to my Armor Rouge. He has to double into. He will be doubling into my Indeedee. Me goes off. Dazzling, maybe, from Flutter? Also, wait, no, no, we, we move first anyway. Actually, this is bad, because if we move first, if we don't KO the armor, oh, the Serilage, which we, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, Serilage could, maybe, in theory, attack first, KO in DD with the Follow Me, and then Flutter could have a redirected attack, single target into Armoru. Uh, we're okay. Shadow Ball gets redirected into the Flutter. Perfect. Or oh, redirected into the uh, Indeedee. Like, if Serilesh survived that, he could have KO'd Indeedee, and then that Shadow Ball would have still gone into us. Uh, Amoongus, Spore. You have to follow me again. The issue now is that, yeah, Amoongus is very, like, quote unquote, fast. Uh, so thankfully, I do have that. I could Heat Wave to try and maybe. Actually, no, I can expand in force as well. That's also super effective. Unless he goes Terra. But even then, it'll at least do good damage to the Flutter. Unless he protects. Follow me, Spore? Yeah. As expected, but that's okay. I mean... I can switch out. I can still go for a... Uh, expanding Force. Hopefully this KOs. It has to KO the uh, Moongus. If it doesn't, we're in trouble, because on the following turn, he can score my Army Rouge then. Super effective. Yes! If I were you, that would have been the time to use my Terra. You've got a slow Pokemon up in Trick Room, that would have been the ideal moment for it. Uh, Gortrom. What is that? Oh, Rillaboom. Oh, Fake Out. Fake Out is now on the board. 
obviously. I'll protect just to wait out this fake out. How many turns of Trick Room are left? One, right? Two. Okay, so I can I can uh, protect this turn and then the following turn, I can go for Expanding Force again, or even Heat Wave, or maybe not Heat Wave if it goes Terra Water. Oh, and it's Terra Fairy uh, Flutter for more damage. DCG Live, it's all Metadex. I would make uh, that makes sense. <laughs> I've noticed card games are much more try-hardy and meta-heavy. It's not as easy to run around with rogue decks in a TCG as opposed to, like, say, a VGC. Woodhammer that... Oh, wait, this gets a KO, right? So... Flutter... Oh, no, yeah, we're protecting, so Flutter doesn't get redirected. I imagine it's another Shadow Ball? Maybe a Moonblast? Shadow Ball, okay, yeah. Oh, and we get a nice bit of healing from the uh, terrain. Alright, well, I mean, if it's... Oh, there's one turn left, so... Let's go Ursa Luna. Oh, yeah, watching. <laughs> Lots of illusion. I mean, we can't afford to go Protect for Flame Orb because there's one turn left. So... Let's headlong the Flutter. It can pro it can protect this turn though, knowingly. And so because of that, I'm gonna Heat Wave actually. Ah, uh, I uh, just have to be very careful because, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have to be very careful because if he somehow KOs both of my Pokemon, I I mean, I do outspeed, but I only have Earth Power from Reggie Drago into that Flutter. But ideally, Heat Wave gets a KO on Rillaboom. It misses! It misses! It misses! No, 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 no! That's not what I wanted! Oh. We have- this has gone- oh, we are- this is- it's all going downhill now. That's bad. That's really, really bad. That's really, really bad. That is extremely bad. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Uh, oh. Oh no. I needed that heat wave to hit. Okay. Uh... If I drag an energy, I can KO the Rillaboom guaranteed. And then I guess I expanding Expanding Force the Flutter, right? Yeah. Ross Glide. That does a lot of damage. I'm not happy with that. Dazzling Gleam. Please survive this Armor Rouge. I need you to survive. Oh, and Reggie Drago goes down. Crit on Reggie Drago. I... I don't know if that mattered, but yeah. Expanding Force. Does this KO? It does KO. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe, maybe. How many turns left of the grass are there? I can maybe protect this turn, and then I, n I need to hit a heat wave. Oh, wait, did I die to the Thorn Rouge? I mean, did I die to the Life Orb? Yeah, I did. I die, I lost because of the heat wave miss. Oh. Not yay at all. Not yay at all. I guess, yeah, uh, Fluttermane is literally just primal mischievous. Sorry if you have to leave, but tonight is holiday. So, oh, no worries, Star. Alright, I think, though, it's time for a little switch up. Let's try out. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. We're going from one Ursuluna to another. This time with Cresselia as well. Now the Rillaboom Flutter was not yay, it was nay actually. Uh, Ewan. Dragon? Wait, 
Dragonite Gouging Fire. That's Howl with uh, Inner Focus. And then Incineroar. Also a Fawigiwaf. Sinistra and a Water Pond. Hmm. This is actually very difficult. Uh... So, Raging Bolt plus Ogre Pond. In the back, let us have Flutter and Earth Brew. Yeah, that's what Sinistra is basically. <laughs> Ready for creatures to print a busted Fluttermane EX card. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Fluttermane can become the, the master of both TCG and VGC. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Dragonite Gouging Fire. I'll, I assume that this is Howl, Burning Bulwark, Breaking Swipe, Gouging Fire, right? Also, look at Gouging Fire having to look up, like, tilt his head to see the Raging Bolts across from it. Hmm. Dragonite, Dragonite, Dragonite. I think it's inner focus. I'm gonna draw Draco and uh, follow me. Oh! Protect Howl, protect Howl, protect Howl. Yep. I mean, that's okay. I'll just do this again on the following turn. Yep, Howl. Mm, I could have gone Draco on the Garden Fire. <laughs> yeah, it's just the two are having a, sh a stare down between them. Alright. Breaker, the Dragonite. Follow me. I'm assuming that this Gouting Fire isn't very offensive. It's more support, right? So I'm hoping that it doesn't have... Uh, like, I, I can... I'm doing the correct thing and focusing the Dragonite down. Terra normal Dragonite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Terra Steel! Iron Head? Now you'd still be using... I don't know, what would you be using? You, do you have... Is this Loaded Dice Scale Shot? Uh-oh. This might be Loaded Dice Scale Shot. Breaking Swipe. I mean... Ugh, that, that plus one didn't matter, actually. Oh... Uh, as long as we hit our Draco, we should be okay, I think. Yep, that is Scale Shot. And it is a miss. Oh. Draco does connect. That does not do a lot of damage. Alright, but... Let's go into... I'm gonna go into Flutter main. I think he Breaking Swipes again, and maybe he doubles into the Flutter. And yeah, if it's Scale Shot, then yeah, that's fine. And it's Ivy Cudgel, the now steel type Dragonite. Alright, let's see. Flutterman comes in. Breaking swipe will get dodged out. I don't know about scale shot. It depends on where it goes. I I think he saw. Breaking swipe would have gotten a KO on. Uh, oh, he's howling! <gasps> if you're using scale shot on that uh, raging bolt slot, tell me you're doing it. Tell me you're doing it. Come on. Oh, also we're faster than you anyway. Lamal get bonked by Ivy Cudgel. Dragonite goes down. Woo. Okay, but there is still a plus three uh, gouging fire to be scared of. Kind of, right? I don't. Uh, maybe there's flare blitz. So it can damage my uh, Flutter, in theory. Incineroar also has Fake Out. Hmm. 
Bake out the pawn, blitz the flutter. I can double protect here to wait this out. As long as you don't go for another howl, go up like plus four or something. Uh, burning bullbuck. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is great for me. No setup from him. Also, we get to see the speed. So it's flutter first. It's flutter first, then uh, gouging fire, and then most likely uh, ogre pawn. And then probably Incineroar in the back. So. Mm. Let's blast the... Actually, ah, oh, man, this is difficult. Uh, call me crazy. I'm going to moon blast the Incineroar. I think Rage Bolt is the only way to deal with that uh, Dragonite. I'm gonna switch into Urshifu, as crazy as it sounds. Yeah, that was basically a nothing turn. You didn't even use Fake Out as well. I might lose my Urshifu here, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. I, I want to have Follow Me plus uh, Draco ready at the end. Heat Crash, yep. Yeah, that's go. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Blair Blitz into the Urshan food. Do you know burn? That's about what? 80-ish damage. Uh, I think we're faster. We'll be faster than the... Yeah, I think we can Draco Meteor the uh, Gouging Fire here. What's also minus? No worries. <laughs> we can Draco the Gouging Fire and close combat the Incineroar. I think we're faster than both of them, right? I'm not too sure about the Raging Bolt. I think it is faster than us, the Gouging Fire, but... Uh, a Breaking Swipe would... Oh, he was withdrawing. Okay. Well, he still could be moving first with his Gouging Fire, so let's see. Ogre Pond comes in, though. Water Pond, to be specific. Breaking swipe, please no KO. Oh, you hate to see it. 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 Okay, well, maybe. Hang on. It's faster than Urshifu as well, by the way. Close combat does get a KO on Ogre Pond. But here's the thing, though. He's faster. He has a spread breaking swipe. comes back and also we get uh, intimidated as well. I mean... Maybe... I would have to get like crit soccer punch on the Garden Fire, right? Okay. Here's the play. Oh, not tear on you. Ivy Cudgel, crit gouging fire. He's gonna fake out my Urshifu. I go Terror Ghost, I Sucker Punch. I do a crit or something and I just get a KO. Because... Yeah, it outspeeds us, right? Plus four gave gouging fire. I think it's at plus four, right? So I can punch this first. Not a lot of damage. And there's breaking swipe with plus four. Oh, he's not even, yeah, he's not even using faking out or fake out. So probably flare blitz into Ogopon? Oh, we still get our Ivy. Maybe, crit. <laughs> there's nothing. And then flare blitz. Oh, Ogapon. Yeah, that is smart though. Like the 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 unseen fake out, the threat of a fake out is more devastating than the actual fake out itself.
Ooh, shout out to Groudon in the back there. So, hmm, the screen is crashing around a bit. Let me... Uh, it's not your internet minus, it is my internet. Let me see if I can try and fix this up a bit. That should work. So now it's still a bit laggy. Hang on a second. I close more. I'm closing like 500 of my 8,000 browser tabs to see if this uh, makes things better. And I think it is. Oh, wait. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, sorry. I just had 5 million browser tabs open, so that was causing the, <laughs> the frame drops. A battle against Marina with a heart. Oh, what is this team? Shifty, a little shifty shift tree. OG Arcanine, Medicham, huge power maybe? Huge power skill swap even? Uh, Illumise, Melotic, and a Mamoswine. What? Uh huh. All right. I don't know what they're trying to do here. So you know what? Let's get a little freaky with this. Let's lead with our uh, Ursaluna, Curved Cloak. Means we can't get baked out. Let's also have our Cresselia next to it. On the sides, hmm. Urshafu, single strike could be nice. As well as. Uh, let's have our Raging Bolt too. I am really interested in what this team is. I can only imagine, like, it's a maybe Sash Shift with Fake Out, it's Melodic with a Flame Orb. Everything else, though, it beats me. I, I, I want to see what it is, though. Okay, Marina has Melodic in the profile picture. You, mean, you know that means that they're going to lead with it, right? Or at least have it in the back line. <laughs> Illumise Shift Tree. Uh, this, is, this can be Tailwind Fake Out, can it not? So here's what I'll do. Trick, shift tree. Ideally, he goes fake out onto my Ursa Luna. This Terra Normal Hyper Voice. Just raw damage. Yeah, let's do it. I think we're the only one tearing. Ah! Uh, uh, ooh, hang on. Illumise uses Tailwind. That gives uh, Wind Rider to the Shift Tree. Uh oh. I see the shenanigans. There's Tailwind. You're not gonna use Explosion, are you? Okay, it's not good. Uh, that's really bad because one, it means that I lost an item, so I can't use Trick. Two, it just straight up KOs my Cresselia. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I mean, we get a Hyper Voice off at least. Uh, but we do not do a lot of damage. Uh, da, da, da. Go Raging Bolt. I don't think Illumise can do a lot of damage, right? So, let's do this. Let's Thunderclap the Shift Tree. I think it should, should still get a KO, even though it's not very effective. And let's Blood Moon the... Ah! Ah! Hmm. I don't think Hyper Voice gets a KO on Illumai, so let me Blood Moon it. If he switches out, I'll do a lot of damage. Or KO the Illumai's. The only issue is they are both going to move before me. And also he's going to Terror. If this is a Ghost Terror, I will cry my eyes out. There's no way. I mean, it is on Illumai's. I have mind's eye, I have mind's eye, I have mind's eye, I have mind's eye. Oh, okay. Oh, it's okay. I mean, we still could die because they do move before us, but yeah. Exp he did have explosion. Doesn't affect Illumise. 
Also, did I not click Thunderclap? Normal gem boosts the damage, yeah. Crit on the Ursaluna. Did I not click expl uh, Thunderclap? Hey, what? Did I click Thunderbolt instead of Thunderclap? They both start with Thunder. Uh, was that a huge misplay by me? Well then. I clicked the wrong one. I am so dumb. They both they both have thunder in the name. I, I, I you, you expect me to read? Come on. I would have thunderclapped that, then I would have gone for a mind's eye uh Struggle bug would not have gone to KO, I would have gone for Blood Moon. I mean, I'll see this out to the end. Maybe I can still win this somehow. So we could blow the uh, close combat. Ugh. Yeah, let's close combat, man. With swine. Ah, uh, if only I did click the proper thunder move. Oh, this would have been a lot easier. Ice for spear. Ooh. Loaded dice. Two. Three. Four. Is he gonna get five? Yeah, only four. Struggle bug also goes. Oh yeah, because of Tailwind. He does go over for us. Back rolls. Uh, oh. Yeah, but yeah, our defense drops, so another struggle bug gets a KO, right? Uh, man. Only I clicked the right thunder move. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Because that would have been... Uh, I would still have Raging Bolt and Ursuluna against the Melotic plus the Mammoth Swine. Ice Skull Spear probably would have gotten a KO onto the Raging Bolt. But I still would have gotten good chip damage off it, I think. Okay, maybe all is not lost. Psycho Punch Illumise. Maybe Melotic does something weird. Maybe it protects. Gets a KO. Maybe he misses actually. But Flame Orb, it'll boost its defense. I mean, I get a crit. Actually, no, yeah. It's not a defense boost, like a, a stat increase. It's just, it is stronger. And Skull will take us out anyway. Alright, note to self read the moves in their completion. Don't just look at the first one and go, like, oh, it's Thunder, it's fine. I'm sure they'll get better watermelon. The bug, d at least I got rid of the Illumise. That's all I can be happy about. No worries, watermelon. Thanks for stopping by. against Jack Patata. Hakuna Matata, Jack Patata. The, ooh, Rillaboom and Incineroar, the classic. Also with the Raging Bolt, Urshifu Pao, and a Landorus. Mm-hmm. A lot of fake, or a lot of like priority moves, right? Thunderclaps. Sucker punches, fake outs. So, what if we go for something that cannot be faked out? Perfect cloak. As well as. A flutter? That can't be faked out either? Yeah, let's do that. In the back. I feel like Cresselia shenanigans could be possible. As well as a... Hmm. Urshfu. I was thinking of uh, Ogapon for the Rillaboom, but I mean, I don't want to bring a single Pokemon for a single other counter. Urshfu is a bit more good, generally speaking, at least. So, there's that. Uh, 
Right. Oh, what a... It's Latios or Latios? I don't know what the Shinies look like. <laughs> I don't know what the yellow one is. Right. Urshifu and Incineroar. Intimidate, not gonna matter. Fake up, not gonna matter. But a... Surging Strikes absolutely does matter. Uh huh. Probably Terra. Terra Water Surging Strikes on somebody here, right? Knock off. Maybe he goes fake out? Since he sees that as an option. Could Earth Power the Incineroar Roar. Cresselia, would Cresselia be- Ah, uh, I don't want to switch out though because I lose my thing. I lose my booster energy. Let's do this. Terra Normal, Hyper Voice. And let's move Blast. Yeah, let's do it. Double into it, break a possible Sash. He is gonna go Terra Water, yep. Bye bye, Flutter. Oh, uh, Poison? Oh wow, Earth Power suddenly became a lot more useful. Uh, I guess Poison Jab, right? Poison Jab into uh, Flutter main. Maybe he sees that. Maybe he goes Poison Jab, Flutter, fake out uh, Earth's Luna. In which case, I am 100% okay with that. Uh, Moonblast goes first. Does not do a lot. Goes into the Earth's Luna. I mean, we tank it, but yeah, 30 each, so we'll go down to about 100-ish. Does he knock off the uh, Flutter? Ideally, I get it low enough that if we move before it again, we can get a KO with Moonblast. But then again, though, eh, Sucker Punch is a viability. Oh, oh, we just KO Urshifu. Nice, that's what you love to see. What about Incineral, though? Uh, knock off Flutter? I mean, I don't have an item, so I won't do as much damage, but... Blair Blitz the Flutter! We survive though. We will outspeed also, it takes recoil damage. Citrus Berry? Did it go below half? No, it didn't. Okay. Or maybe it has a salt burst. It didn't take that much damage from Hyper Voice, so that could be why. Uh, Electrophilia, this is. Ooh, Thunderclap possibilities. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna Earth Power. Yeah, let's Earth Power. Or, hang on. I'm worried about Thunderclap. I'm really worried about Thunderclap. Let's protect. And I see a possible shenanigans. I'm gonna switch into Cresselia here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as there's no fake out, or as long as there's no knockoff into the slot, we should be okay. I, I want to see a Flare Blitz into the uh, Earth Luna and a Thunderclap onto, or like a Calm Mind even, or a Protect. Something from this Radio Bolt. Thunderclap. Nice. Flare Blitz. Yes, perfect. Okay. Mm. Let's see. I can Earth Power, Electrophilia. I could just Moonblast. I was going to say, I could Icy Wind. I could do something silly and trick. But honestly, I think I'm okay keeping my... Sash or my choice call. Because if I trick him into Thunderclap, that's not the greatest. And I think I do survive with my Ursaluna now. Even if he does Thunderclap me, right? Greatest. But I think we're okay. Yeah, let's Moonblast. There's no way Thunderclap KOs. Right? Oh, okay, never mind. Thunderclap does KO. <laughs> Uh, a switch out would have been great there. Mm. Uh, blast. Not do a lot. Haunt! Oh, you're probably expecting Trick Room. Okay. I mean, okay, I'm okay with this. Uh, leftovers. Call me crazy. I'm gonna go Flutter and... Am I just gonna lose another Pokemon? Because I think Thunderclap also okay is this.
Yeah, I'm gonna be dumb. Or, hang on. No, 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 no. Fake tears. Fake tears and then Moonblast. He's gonna Thunderclap. So I, st I still effectively do more damage. But it's through a different means. There we go. Thunderclap fails. Moonblast. Uh, we go first because of Choice Scarf, right? That's a bit awkward. But it's okay. Fake tears. Support Fluttermane. You'll love to see it. Mark off with Cresselia. That might actually get a KO. Fine, we're fine, we're fine. I wonder, now that he knows I have fake tears, is he gonna call my bluff and not use Thunderclap? In which case, now I go for Moonblast. I'm gonna call his bluff on it. Let's see what happens. Oh, nope, there's Thunderclap. But we live on Void Beat! Huge! Okay! Moonblast gets a KO here. I don't know if this Moonblast gets a KO on Incineroar though. I think it has Salt Vest. Either that or it was just over Citrus Berry range. But I don't think this will get a KO, yeah. Uh, Flare Blitz. Ooh, actually, it'll take recoil damage. That, that must be a Salt Vest. Look at how little damage it uh, took from the Moonblast. And it also didn't heal from a Citrus Berry, so... Yeah. We move first with our Fluttermane, unless this has priority that of whatever it is that he's sending out here. Which we'll never know, because he's taking a while to think about it. Is he going to send something out? What? We shall wait and see. I mean, isn't it down to his final Pokemon? What is there to think about? Is he, dis is he gonna disconnect? Ooh, disconnect, give me a free win. Come on, you know you want to. No, he sends in... Oh no, this is me first. I send in my Urshifu. I have a Sash. Landorus. Oh, I have Icy Wind, I guess. Let me protect first. Oh. And we could blow the Landris, I guess. There's no way I go down. I will protect to scout out what he does. Do I? Uh, no, 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 no. I think he doubles into me. I think he thinks Sansius gets a KO on Flutter. Yeah. Screw it. I see wind. We could blow Landorus. Protect. I am using Wicked Blow, my friend. You're forgetting Urshifu's ability. I mean, yes, okay, maybe Flutter goes down here, but yeah. Uh, oh, Incineroar dodges. Oh, that's bad. Or oh, maybe. Uh, we don't get a care, but they're both low. Flare Blitz into the... Butter. Okay, this is okay because... I think I go before Landorus, right? I... Uh, get a KO. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's suck the Landorus and then I KO Landorus and then his uh, Incineroar won't KO me. I hope this is correct, using Sucker. Oh, this might be bad. Also, what's up, Elwood? Okay, quick shout out. I don't remember how to. Please be the correct play. I think I may have made a mistake. How fast is Landorus? Is it faster than me? He's the, if he, his big brain play would be to protect and go for a double protect here. There's no way he's doing that though, right? There is no way you would be doing this. Right? <gasps> oh no! How much damage does he do? Flare, he might die to flare blitz. He might die from the recoil damage. Please no burn. Please no burn. Please no burn. Please no burn. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, well, maybe we were Foster anyway. Uh, I think Landris is faster than Urshifu though. Single strike Urshifu. It absolutely is Foster. What a read by him. 
What an absolute Chad read. Is it gonna work though? Truly, but I mean, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> He's going to be faster than me, and I'm going to be very sad, and I'm going to cry. I just know it. I mean, I know he's going to... Honestly, in hindsight, I should have just attacked into the Incineroar. I think I do survive another Flare Blitz, right? I, I, I survive another Flare Blitz. It's fine. In th yeah, in theory, I should have just guaranteed attack the... I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's fine, I'm making this interesting. Let's lose this get a kill? We're fine. No burn. We're fine. We're fine. He dies. Yeah. I, I wasn't worried one bit. I just did that for the shenanigans. That was a crazy good play for him. I, I would not have... Like, once you got that first protect uh, sucker punch off, you should just double, right? You know one of your attacks is going through. You need... To get your attacks in, right? Oh, I guess from my side. Actually, no, yeah. I could have tried to go for another Sucker Punch, right? Alright, but I think I'll do one more battle and I'll call it a day there. I will say, not having that, uh... Com coming from Instinct's, uh, team. Not having a, uh, a very fast stuff is very annoying. Battle against Gabby with Rillaboom and the other one that people always forget about. Chestnut, I think its name is? With a Glamora, Landorus, Guardian Fire, and a Water Pond. Belly Drum shenanigans, I guess? Fake out Belly Drum? So in that case, I see your fake out possibilities and let's go... Raw Moonblast. Actually, hmm. Yeah, let's go Moonblast. Let's go Roar Ursa Luna. Just straight up Roar Blood Moon. In the back, let's have Urshifu. And a Raging Bolt. Draco for the Gouting Fire, Thunderclap and Thunderbolt for the Water Pond. Gabby, shout out to your Gengar in the back there. What is it gonna be, Gabby? Go Rhythmic and Blind. Fake out Belly Drum. Fake out Belly Drum. He's gonna fake out my Earth Luna, but I have Covert Cloak. I, oh, maybe. I, he, he could have Heavy Slam, right? Uh oh. But no. I, I think I see what he's going for. <sighs> Even if he does go Heavy Slam, I'm okay with that. Actually, let me do this. Let me protect. Because even if he does go Belly Drum, on the following turn, I'll be faster than him anyway. And I should be able to KO. Because I think he might go Terra Steel Belly Drum, or he could go Terry, uh, Terry? Terra Steel Heavy Slam, right? What if I make a crazy prediction and Earth Power him? I'm feeling it. I'm going for the source here. Oh, he's not gonna go for it. Okay. Belly drum is coming. Take up. Yep. Earth power is not gonna do a lot. Belly drum. Do you have something that increases your speed now, though? Because otherwise, don't I just outspeed you anyway? Like. Uh, oh, do you have cross glide? I should have just stuck with my guts. Moonblast. Hyper voice. Right? If it, didn't, if it didn't work then, let me do it now, I suppose. I won't, Terra, because I don't think I need to. Grossy Glide. That was a lot of damage. Does Chestnut get Grossy Glide? No, he doesn't. Moonblast. That gets a KO, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. To be fair, though, I do have to be careful because another Grossy Glide will get a KO. Hyper voice. That is not a lot of damage. Uh, 69 HP though. Woo! 
He probably goes for that again. Ogapon comes in. I'm switching out. I have to switch out. I have to switch out. Uh, let's go Icy Wind. Lower their speeds. And go into Raging Bolt. <clears throat> I want to try and wait out this grass terrain. If possible. Yeah, if I had just gone uh, Moonblast. Moonblast plus... Uh, Terra Normal Hyper Voice Turn 1. That would have been way better. Icy Wind doesn't really matter anymore because of Grassy Glides. That's why I'm trying to wait out this uh, terrain. I could Thunderclap Ogapon now, I suppose. Actually, I should probably just double protect to wait out this terrain. Also, maybe see if he goes for a Terra here. Two turns left. One... Text two. <clears throat> I doubt he goes Terra here, though, right? There's no way you go Terra Water in front of a, a Thunderclap. And I don't think Rillaboom really needs it here. Bulky as is. Probably with Assault Fist. Yeah, no, no Terra from him. Protect from us. Ooh, uh, Grassy Glide again from Rillaboom. It probably has Miracle... Uh, it might be Miracle Seed with how much damage it's doing. Instead of Assault Burst. Horn Leech onto the Flutter. Interesting. Also, no Grassy Glide. So this is Woodhammer. Oh, high horse... High horsepower. Uh-oh. Hmm. <clears throat> that is... Scary. So... I don't know if he goes for another Grassy Glide, so let's just do this. Let's Icy Wind. Actually, mm, maybe just Raw Moonblast the Ogre Pond. And you know what? You know what? What does he have in the back? Ghost. Call me crazy. Thunderclap the Ogre Pond. I might get a KO with this. Thunderclap plus Moonblast might KO the Ogre Pond. In which case, High Horsepower gets a return KO, but I think we're okay with this. If he goes Horn Leech again, this is might be the best play I have. Watch this where he, is where he double uh, Grossy Glides. Thunderclap goes first. Nice. With Stab Terra Boost. This won't get a KO, but it will probably leave it low enough that a Moonblast, which will go before the Ogre Pond, goes first and gets a KO. Go Pond. No more Horn Leech. High horsepower? Maybe it misses. Who knows? Let's see. I wrote the script, by the way. This is all me. And now we can double protect again. Gross Terrain expires. He can't switch out, so he can't get this back again. Uh, oh no, Gross Terrain uh, disappears right now, even. Let's see, last Pokemon coming in is... Landorus? Yeah, Landorus. Oh, uh, I have Icy Wind. We should go first with our Flutter. Icy Wind will lower the speed that maybe then we can go and follow up with a Draco onto that uh, Landorus, right? Icy Wind, yep, goes first. Does great damage to the Landorus, as is. Lowers the speed of the Rillaboom even more. Lowers the speed of Landorus more importantly, which allows me to go for Draco Meteor next. And it does hit, and it does KO. We may not even need our Urshfu. High Horsepower, does it hit? Let's see. Does the High Horsepower hit? It does, but it's on the Flutter. We survive with the Flutter? What? <laughs> okay, well, in that case... Uh, uh, yeah, let's just regular raw Moonblast plus. I'm gonna Draco for funsies. Welcome back, Mooncake. Ooh, a sauna. Moonblast connects. Does not get a KO. Draco? Draco. With minus one, though. Still connects. Oh, minus two, even. Still connects. Gorythmic goes down. Oh, that makes sense. Gorilla Rhythm on the Drums. That's kind of a cool name. Man, a sauna sound. Oh, I could go. I could go for a sauna right now, Mooncake. Now you're making me jealous. Hopefully, it was very relaxing. And uh, I don't know what else. What else do you do at a sauna? Yeah, relaxing, de-stressing, I suppose.
I mean, you can't end on a, on a win, right? We got, we're on a win streak now. May as well go for another. A battle against Isa. <clears throat> 60 degrees. Six, is that 60 Celsius? Okay, I doubt it's Fahrenheit, because 60 Fahrenheit would be ridiculously cold. Damn! I didn't realize that's how hot Swan has got. Alright, battle against Issa though, with- wow, what a cringe team. Incineroar and Rillaboom. Rigraph, okay, yep, uh, and Urshifu, Ogapon, and a Flutter. Hmm. I mean, again, I'm seeing double fakeouts, which are a very annoying possibility, so let me just go with this. Can't get faked out. We can go Terra Normal. Uh, in the back. Hmm. Let's go Ogre Pond of our own as well as Urshifu. Really? 7 of 80, 80 degrees Celsius one? That sounds ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, I'd, I've never been in one, so yeah, I wouldn't know how hot hot is in a sauna, but yeah, that is ridiculous. I mean, I guess the next whole, the whole point is that you need to get so hot that you sweat out everything, right? Alright, Rillaboom, Ogapon. It's Fire Ogapon as well, so I think we're okay here. Uh, Fake Out is probably coming into our... Uh, what's it called? Our... Blood Moon Ursa Luna. But uh, let's see. I could go raw. Hyper voice. Or blood moon to get rid of Ogapon. Do I I'd wanna focus down the Ogapon really? Yeah, I wanna focus down that Ogapon. And let's protect. I think he I think he fakes out Blood Moon Ursuna. Thinks, oh, I don't have to worry about Ursuna. Then I can then focus on uh using Ivy Cudgel on the Flutter instead. I think that's what he does. So let's protect and eat the fake out. Go for a blood moon. Oh, you're also naked. Well, I mean, I guess you have a towel as well, but yeah. <laughs> right, Terra Normal, Blood Moon, Ursaluna. Fake out. Going on to the Ursaluna, right? Oh! Can I use Blood Moon if it doesn't connect? Probably not, right? Uh, what is- Oh, is he, are you gonna woodhammer me then? Okay, no, it's fine. I, I right call, but just wrong slot. Hyper voice would have worked a bit better, I guess, in hindsight, but... Always 20 out of 20, right? Can I use Blood Moon? Okay, yeah. If it doesn't connect, you can't use it twice in a row. In that case... What if I protect now? I don't know, let's go Hyper Voice, let's get, get some damage in. I see wind. Lower the speed a bit. He does still have Grassy Glide as possibilities, but I think the spread is nice. Also, the speed for Ogapon as well is more important. Terra, Fire, Ogapon, Ivy Cudgel, extra damage on to who though? That's a question. Should I have gone Protect on Ursaluna? Let's see. Did I make a grave mistake? Very likely. It is an attack boost and a stab boost on top of that. But maybe though it lowers the speed that I go before him and maybe pipe a voice with KO. <laughs> I doubt it though. If I switch the turn order around. If I got hyper voice first to get some chip damage onto Rillaboom and I had uh, Blood Moon available for me now. Yeah, Blood Moon would have gotten a KO here. Ivy Cudgel, this is probably on Ursaluna. Does this get a KO? No, but Grassy Glide is a possibility. Woodhammer onto the... Flutter, ooh. I mean, hang on. Hmm. This isn't that bad. Is it? In Protect? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, I can follow me. I can follow me. Follow me, Hyper Voice works. 
I go before them both times, so they would have to use, like, uh, Grassy Glide, right? And then that would get redirected into the Ogre Pond. Ah, no worries, Mooncake. Hyper Voice should get a double KO. They don't have a spread move. I mean, they could go Spiky Shield, I guess. Switch, yeah. Uh, but I am okay with this. Rillaboom probably gets a uh, Grassy Glide. If he doesn't go Grassy Glide, I get a KO here with Hyper Voice, probably. Yep. However, he does get a free switch in now, and it will be a Pokemon that will... Oh, Rillaboom stays healthy. U -turn. Oh, that is a great thing, actually. He can reset the Gross Terrain now. Also, he gets a boss Pokemon in, possibly. Urshifu? Incineroar? Incineroar, fake out. Oh, Urshifu. Oh, and it is a Rapid Strike Urshifu. Well, the Hyper Voice plus Follow Me. But the issue is, Follow Me... Can we tank both of these hits in? Oh, no. Let's have a look. He's going the Ogre Pond. Ooh! I mean, free damage onto whatever comes into the slot here, Rillaboom. Also, yeah, I mean, I care Rillaboom. Oh, maybe he's doing this to reset the speed drop on Ogre Pond. Uh, Urshifu certain strikes. I don't go down to this, actually. This? Ooh, maybe? Oh, HP. Oh, HP and a dream. Uh, but the issue is... Aqua Jet plus... Ooh, okay, nah. Aqua Jet plus... Um, Grassy Glide. Double KOs. Unless... Can I...? Hmm. It, I'd have to make some big brain plays with Urshifu at the back uh, of mine then. I'd have to Sucker Punch correctly, right? Because it'd be 2v1. And I have a Sash at least, but yeah. And I, ca I can't protect. I actually cannot protect. So I lose both Pokemon here, right? Hyper Voice. Maybe he doesn't have Grossy Black. Oh, no, doesn't have Black. And then, yeah. Uh, what is it called? Aqua Jet, right? Here is the... Did you... Okay, so the choice. Man, if I had Grossy Glide on this Ogre Pond, that would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I can maybe still win this. Maybe. I'd have to get good damage. Ah, he can't Grossy Glide anymore. I have a Sash. I have to... Oh, wait, who's faster between the two of us? I have to Sucker Punch Urshifu, right? Because if I Wicked Blow, he might go before me with Surging Strikes. Do the two Urshifus have different stats? Yeah, they both have the same. I have to sucker punch, right? I don't want to risk the speed. Oh, but it's not very effective. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to wicked blow Urshifu. Hope I go first. And... Oh, yeah. That's that's bad because now he breaks Sash. The thing is, sucker punch wouldn't have gotten a KO. Maybe... I... No, there's no way I survive a, a fire terror. I'd be careful, right? Oh, it's not even- yeah, it doesn't even get a KO with that. Gross Glide. Okay, yeah, Gross Glide does get a KO. Oh! Alright, well it sucks to end on a loss, but I think that is where I will call it a stream for today. We did at least get some good battles in. Mm, I'll probably do more tomorrow. I'll I probably will stream tomorrow. I don't know if I'll do more Pokemon. I might start a playthrough on uh, that JRPG I was talking about. 
either Triangle Strategy or Octopus Traveler 2. Not entirely sure which one yet. But otherwise though, thank you everybody for joining the stream and enjoying the battles. Maybe, yeah, maybe like we were talking about it earlier, the possibility of, uh, what is it called? Possibility of multi-battles with viewers. Maybe we can do that in the Discord server at some point in time. Make sure this has been updated. Let me change this. Apparently that, that invite was a bit broken, so... Here we go. New update link in the description. So hopefully in the future people can join there and then uh, we can do more battles over in the Discord server. Until then though, until tomorrow probably. Hopefully you all have a good rest of your Friday. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Until then. Bye bye. Bye-bye.